your brother. And I say to us that are members of the body of Christ, that even though we have been here for a long time, it might be that some of us have not yet been converted to the gospel of Jesus Christ. All right. Come on, sir. Somebody say, why would you say that, Brother Stewart? Because it was a long time between then and first Peter. Yeah. And it took Peter a little while yep. Grow up. That's right. to get where he needed to get to. That's right. All right. And church, if we're ever going to become what God wants us to be, we're going to have to get busy. Come on, sir. Yeah. Working in our lives, trying to do what God wants us to do. Yeah. There's some things that we need to lose. Come on, preacher. In yeah. our lives. Come on, All sir. Right. We need to make some changes in some areas in our lives. We need to be more humble. We need to be more forgiving. Yes. We need to be more like Jesus. Come on, sir. Amen. In our lives. And so, and so Peter, when he becomes converted, I, I hear Peter writing over in 1 Peter chapter 1. Mm -hmm. Peter pens these words and he says, Seeing you have purified your, your soul. souls, Unto one friend, love other brother. brother. <laughs> See that you love one another yeah. firmly with the pure heart. That's right. And then he tells them, being born again. Not a corrupt. Not a corruptible seed, but incorruptible, which cometh by the word of God. Peter said, let me tell you something. If you have truly been converted and born by the word of God, then you ought to make some changes in your life. Amen. All right. And church, I know. I know that we are working every day. Mm -hmm. We are working every day to try to be the people that God would want us to be. All right. I'm grateful. I'm grateful that we have had this opportunity mm -hmm. to to experience the things that we're going through. All right. And yet to come over on the other side and to see how good God really is. All right. Yes. God is beginning to work here. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. and, and you don't have to be a genius to, to see how things are taking place. All right, sir. All you have to do is know that there's a God. Come on, sir. That's set high. Yes, sir. And he looks low. Come on, sir. And he will bless and work anyone that is willing to let him have his way and his life. Come on, sir. Amen. But the thing that we need to understand, sir, is that as we move along this Christian journey, that there are dangers. Mm -hmm. that are before us. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. We cannot just afford to be here. Mm -hmm. All right. And think that we are heaven bound. Come on, mm -hmm. sir. The Bible tells us that that we need to work out our soul salvation. Fear and trembling. And not only work it out, but do it in fear. Yeah. And trembling. All right. We we need to be conscious of the fact of what I do every day. Yeah. And not only every day, but every hour of the day. Come on. And to make sure that my life is in stream with what God would want me to do. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad this evening that, that God has put things together. Come yeah. on, sir. The way that he has put it. Because if he didn't, we'd be in a terrible situation. Come on, sir. But I like the fact. I like the fact that this God that I serve is better to me than I could be to myself. Come on, Amen. sir. Amen. And, and if you didn't know he's better than you, Come mm -hmm. on, sir. then you could be to yourself. Teach us. Because if he would have given anybody the opportunity to set up a plan, mm. We would have had just a certain amount of time <laughs> that anybody 
Friday where they've been able to do wrong and then just wipe them out. That's right, bro. You know it. Oh, now I know that. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> you know, and some of us would have put a number out there and we would have thought that that number was extremely high. <laughs> but I'm glad God is who he is. Yes, sir. Because the Bible says that, that God answered the question when the question was asked, how many times should I forgive my brother? And he said, 70 times. Yes. 